Joining us today for this week's entertainment panel is the beautiful Abby St. John. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Of course, no worries. You know, so what we got on the bracket for this week's entertainment panel, we got kind of a some a little slightly older news of when the trailer came out, but we haven't had a chance to talk about this yet. And the movie will be exclusively in theaters uh, coming up here in May, so I think we should all talk about it. And like you know, it's one of our fave cartoons for sure. Um, I always say that it kind of reminds me a little bit of like a a Modern Family style kind of humor, but cartoon style in a way. But uh, the Bob's Burgers movie, and it's supposed to be coming in theaters in May. 27th and after 12 seasons it's going to be really cool to see it kind of hit the big screen yes we we haven't really seen an adult television cartoon become a movie since the simpsons movie and obviously the simpsons have been a staple in everyone's home since you know the 80s or the 90s so it's been a long time coming that we've seen an adult cartoon kind of be made into a movie and I think Bob's Burgers is the perfect choice mm -hmm. I think it's one of those underrated cartoons <laughs> that not everyone really knows about like they know about it but they don't really watch it yeah. and I think it's the perfect cartoon to be turned into a movie just because of how ridiculous it truly is as a show but it's so good it has such good jokes it's hilarious you know it doesn't try too hard which i uh think makes it for makes a successful cartoon like that um so basically just a little rundown of kind of what to expect for the movie uh you know bob is on the brink of losing the restaurant and then a sinkhole appears in front of it and the kids go on their own adventure it honestly feels like it's a longer episode opposed to a movie which i kind of like because you know there's always that risk that a movie will kind of ruin that show uh, mm -hmm. a little bit but it honestly just feels like they did a few different episodes and put them all together in a storyline um and i think it'll bring a lot more hype and a lot more uh, a bigger fan base to the show and kind of show people that this show is it's good and it's been on for a long time but i feel like nobody really talks about it i'm hoping this movie kind of you know puts it on a bigger pedestal if you will okay. um i have no doubts that this movie is going to be hilarious and ridiculous and everything that bob's burgers really is yeah, oh, especially with it coming to the big screen. I, I, I agree on that aspect that I hope it does get a little bit more attraction. Um, it's not definitely as, I guess, inappropriate in a way as kind of like Family Guy is. So like it, I feel like it doesn't really touch a lot more audiences in that mm -hmm. way. And I think, uh, like, I agree with that humor. I feel like it does, it's kind of like top tier. Like, there's so many hidden gems, little jokes yeah. in there that people don't get, to, don't get to see if they're not watching it. But, you know, hopefully it will get more attraction with this movie because Bob's Burgers is hilarious. But now moving on to another film that has been talked about like crazy because everyone was waiting on this trailer for so long. And we had to bring it on here because, you know, we're Marvel fans ourselves. But uh, Thor, Love and Thunder is finally here uh, with the trailer. So everybody finally got to watch it on, you know, social media and finally got to see what it's going to be all about. And, you know, it's already got so many intense things involved and in it. it almost seems like a new era for Thor himself, uh, just kind of uh, finding himself and uh, moving on from what's happened, you know, after Endgame and whatnot. We got some Christian Bale, Russell Crowe, and it's supposed to be in theaters uh, July 8th. Yes, this is highly anticipated. Yeah. And I do feel like this is a new, it's kind of like a reset for Thor. You know, yeah. Thor is the first um, standalone Marvel superhero to get a fourth film. Um, all the other ones have either stopped at two or three. So I think this is kind of going to be like a reset. Um, he, you know, states in the trailer that he's done with war and he's done with fighting. And we know that he start, he's going to be starting out with the guardians because that's where it left off in end game. Um, and I think he leaves the guardians because of course, you know, anyone who knows or have seen the guardians of the galaxy, they know that, you know, they're, they're fighters and they fight for those who can't fight for themselves and they help those. So that doesn't really fit in what Thor wants to do with his life. He wants to figure out who he is. I think that's the biggest theme um, just by watching the short little teaser trailer. We know that he goes to Olympus because that's shown in the trailer and we also see a glimpse of Zeus. So that's gonna be interesting to see, you know, those kind of how those Greek gods are portrayed. We see Valkyrie on her throne. Yes. We know at the, at the end of Endgame, Can Thor hands over uh, the crown and the throne to Valkyrie, and she looks 
amazing. Of course. <laughs> She's, you know, she is the queen. We see Jane come back, Jane Foster. We haven't seen her since Dark World. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what she's been doing. We know that she turns into Mighty Thor. Um, you know, we saw her, we get a glimpse of her in her costume. So that's, I'm very excited to see how they do that because she looks fantastic she looks great and i'm very excited because you know her character in the past has always been kind of basic and you know there wasn't really much there with uh, her character so now just that little glimpse of her in the trailer makes me super excited to see her back in action and to actually see her in action once we get a little bit of a longer trailer we'll be able to see just really what mm -hmm. to expect but this is a great first glimpse and i'm very excited for july now it's definitely going to be uh, exciting to see Jane Foster in that, uh, in that kind of scenario, being uh, Thor herself, because, yeah, like you said, definitely a bit basic in the first films. A lot of people weren't a big fan of them together, their chemistry, all that. So just seeing her in the trailer already, I was like, wow, I'm already starting to get like a whole new outlook on her. Like, I'm actually yeah. starting to respect her a little bit, <laughs> that I didn't really care too much before in the first uh, couple films. But... It's going to be good. I think all the Marvel fans are excited, and uh, we got some good content coming up here. But unfortunately, yes. that's all the time we got for today once again. Thanks again so much for joining us today, Abby. Of course, no worries.